What's up guys, my name is Kevin Doan and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the A7C, which I'm using to film right now, to work with the new Ronin SC2 Raven Eye here. So when I placed the order for the Ronin SC2, I came across these posts about how the Raven Eye does not work with the new Sony A7C. Once you connect the Sony's A7C to the Raven Eye, and once you open the, the app, the screen is just black. So I finally came across this post from a member on the DJI forum. And he was able to come up with the method on how to um, adjust the settings in the camera to make it work with the Raven Eye. So I took this method and I tried it out and I got it to work. So I was so excited. But when I did it the second time, it didn't work. Like the screen would go black, I did it again. It didn't work, so I did like a bunch of different tests and I finally come up with a way to actually make it work. I would say this is kind of like a workaround until uh, DJI come up with a new firmware update. And I think this method also would work on the RS2, but I don't have the RS2, so uh, I would know. So if one of you guys have the RS2, let me know how it goes. Let's do it! First, we'll set up the cables for the camera and gimbal. I'm using a USB-C to USB-C. Connect one end to the RSS port on the gimbal and connect the other end to the USB-C port on the A7C. Next, I'm using an HDMI to micro HDMI cable to connect the Raven Eye to the A7C. Then I'm using a USB-C to USB-C with 90 degree bend to connect the Raven Eye to the gimbal. This step is very important as it's what fixes the black screen later on. We'll make sure the USB-C is connected to the second port and not the third port on the gimbal. We'll go back to this later on in the video. Now double check to make sure the cables are connected as shown. Power on the camera, then power on the gimbal. Next step is to connect the Raven Eye. Hold the power button on the Raven Eye for about 3 seconds and wait for the LED to turn red and then to blue. Open up your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Raven Eye. Now open up the DJI app and you'll see the Raven Eye view screen is black. Press menu on the camera and go to the network 1 PC remote function and change the PC remote connect method to Wi-Fi direct. You'll then see the Raven Eye view mirror the camera menu view. Now put the gimbal to sleep. The screen on the camera will go black and the camera menu is displayed on the Raven Eye view. Use the dials on the camera to change the PC remote function back to USB. Now take the gimbal out of sleep mode. The Raven Eye view will now mirror the camera view. The next step is to allow the gimbal to be controlled using the app. Hit the back arrow and you'll see at the top it says gimbal not connected. Now this is the other important step. We'll need to swap the Raven Eye cable connected to the gimbal from port 2 to port 3. Once this is done, you'll see on the app the Raven Eye name will be changed to the gimbal name. Tap on that and you're all set. And now you can control all the tracking functions and camera settings from the phone app. When you hit the record button, the app screen won't go black. And that's it guys. If you guys found this video helpful, please give me a like and consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments below if it will also work for you guys. 
All right, see you guys next time.